What's going on, my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. Happy Wednesday, and tomorrow we have Thanksgiving. And so I just want to take a moment to just really thank you guys. You guys have made being an ASVAB coach a blessing in my life that I'll never, can never forget, really. So just want to make sure that I pass it along, pay it forward. You guys have been awesome, every single one of you, whether you're watching me for the first time ever or you're watching this as my 100th video. It doesn't matter to me. You've been part of my success and I'm so happy and grateful that I can be part of yours. And so with that said, we're gonna do a word, a word knowledge example because tonight we're gonna to be doing a word knowledge class. We actually have our Black Friday sale happening now where you can get a nice discount on uh, our ASVAB materials, just like my ASVAB All Access program where you can also get all the classes, all the recordings to study on your schedule, build confidence with all of these problems that I have and worksheets, over 2,000. And on top of that, you'll have access to me every step of the way. So if you wanna learn more about that, my number is in the description of this video, along with the link to the All Access program. So if you have any questions, let me know. But without further ado, let's crack this. Remember, my ASVAB party people, the word knowledge, a lot of the time, it feels like a game of chance no matter how much you study. And so, practicing the right way, learning your prefixes, and getting to a point where you're not nervous about looking at a problem that you don't know, but being able to use those strategies the right way, that's the goal. So remember, you can achieve that in our program because our program gives you every which way to practice with recorded lessons, with our Word Knowledge Bootcamp, and everything else, including paragraph comprehension, math, and practice tests and questions to help you succeed. So go ahead and take a look at the link in the description of this video because this program, I can promise you right now, take a look at it because you'll see that you can go ahead and raise your score without spending much money at all. And that's our goal. So go ahead, get in there, check it out. And that way we can raise our scores at the end of the day and get that job you deserve. Let's get back to work here, but don't forget, check out the program to see what it's all about. Let me teach you some word knowledge strategy here real quick. So with the word knowledge, when it comes to learning new words, I get the same kind of uh, response when I ask people what they do regularly. I hear them say, hey, you know, I go on Quizlet, get some flashcards going, and I just go ahead and go until I get them. Or I rate my own flashcards and I just try to memorize as many words as I can. Here's the thing. That's actually uh, not a terrible thing to do, but it's not the only thing that you should do. When it comes to learning new words, like truly learning new words for the word knowledge, you have to make sure that you're trying to expand your vocabulary. And what that means is making sure you know the word, not just memorize it, but to the point where you can actually use it. So there's a difference between memorizing mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, as opposed to knowing what mitochondria actually is, what purpose it serves, how its uh, processes work and things like that. So that's what I'm saying, there's a difference. And so do these three things. These three things always when you're learning new words. One, make sure to define the word. That's only level one. There are two more levels that you must commit to if you wanna remember that word for more than a couple days. And that means, so well, number one, define it. Number two, synonyms. You have to know other words that mean the same exact thing as the word that you're trying to learn. And also, number three, this is where you will really cement it and you will really learn this word and it's by applying it. Use it, use it. Three or more sentences before you move on. Seriously, that's what you wanna do. You don't have to make flashcards. Like flashcards are cool, they're good or whatever, but if you're not using them, or if you're only using them to just memorize, you're not gonna remember these words. So define it, list some synonyms that you know mean the same thing, some words that mean the same thing, and then he used that word in a couple of sentences. I can promise you, you will give yourself a much better shot at expanding your vocabulary if you follow those three simple steps. And so let's tackle this question here. Dawn most nearly means what? We have submerge, remerge, emerge, and emerge. Okay, so you may be looking at that like, okay, crap, this is already pretty tough. It's all good. So you wanna always ask yourself, okay, first, obviously, do I know the word or not? Right, do I know it or not? And if you don't know it, there's also other strategies that you can use, like this one. Okay, I know I've heard the word before, but I'm not sure what it means. I know I've heard it before, dawn. Okay, what does dawn mean? Okay, dawn, dawn. Oh, I've heard of the phrase dusk till dawn. Okay, maybe I can go with that. Dusk to dawn means night to morning. Okay, dawn, dawn. Oh, what about another phrase? Let's see. Oh, it finally dawned on me. It finally came to me. Okay, finally appeared. Okay, 
What happens at dawn? The sun rises. Okay, so the sun appears. Okay, it dawned on me. What about that phrase? It dawned on me. It appeared in my head. It appeared in my mind. So that's what it is right there. Dawn means coming about. Okay, so if dawn means coming about, which of these words is closest? And last bad part of people, just like this free video that you're watching, I have more free materials for you and there's no excuse for you not to get them. I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake. And on top of that, I have a free class on Zoom once a week, every single week for two hours. So imagine that. You got more free materials than just this YouTube video right over here. Let's keep pushing forward. Sign up right now and I'll see you in the next class. Let's get started. Submerge means going underwater. Remerge kind of means resurfacing. So maybe, maybe. Emerge, emerge to come about. Oh, there it is right there. I'm going to pick that one. And then emerge. So emerge is kind of like submerge in, in the sense of kind of surrounding yourself or, or diving into something. So already I'm looking at that dawn coming about in terms of a new day. Emerge right there. Boom. And so that's just one of many word knowledge strategies that I got to show you, especially if you're in my program, get ready for tonight's class. It's going to be a lot of fun. But let me go ahead and take you through again these three things right over here. These three things right over here, my party people. Let me copy and paste it right down here. This is what you should be doing every step of the way. And this is what you will get as part of the program with the word knowledge bootcamp. What you'll get here is again, you'll define it. Definition of dawn. The beginning of a phenomenon or period of time, birth, beginning, yeah, emerge, an emergence, coming about, yeah, coming to life, yes. And so then some synonyms, again, birth, beginning, emerge, boom. And then in a sentence, since the dawn of time, people have needed each other. Let me break my neck right there. People have needed each other. And so with that said, my part of people, again, commit yourself to taking the extra five, 10 seconds and applying that word. If you're not willing to do that, you cannot guarantee your success. So if you like this video, all I ask is that you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Maybe even leave a comment if I taught you something new. But remember, Black Friday sales happening starting now. If you wanna learn more about that, check out the description of this video or reach out to me directly. My number is 567-698-8867. You can call me or text me, I got your back, 698 eight eight six seven probably won't reply on thanksgiving day but the day after for black friday i'll be right back in office and so with that said i'll see you in tonight's class if you're part of my program let's ace the asbab let's go i'll see you there and before you go if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that so you can lower that test anxiety raise that confidence go to this link right here to check out the full program there's a video that shows you exactly how it works but you're gonna get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.